This week on Paddle Tales, we're setting out on a five-day canoe trip in Killarney Provincial Park with the help of Killarney Outfitters and the beautiful Killarney Mountain Lodge. Killarney is hands down one of the most gorgeous natural playgrounds in the world, but it's also challenging terrain. For the route we're taking, we've got a lot of ground to cover, and so we're not easing ourselves into it. In fact, we're starting the adventure in a remote corner of the park oh, yeah. with loaded packs oh, and yeah. a portage recognized as being one of the toughest around. Before we get right into it though, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and follow us on Facebook and Instagram because we have lots more Paddle Tales episodes, tips and tricks coming your way. Paddle Tales is brought to you in part by NRS, Aquabound, Swift Canoes, and Ontario Creates. Well, the sun has risen and we are at Clarney Outfitters and this is pretty much where every Clarney adventure begins. We got to get geared up and then we're heading out on the water. Well, hello, Ted. Morning, Ken. The adventure begins. We have your kit all laid out. I'll show it to you. Awesome. Yes. This looks pretty organized. <laughs> Dummy proof. That's perfect. <laughs> Life has never been so easy when it comes to meal planning because one of the things Clarny Outfitters does is they provide the full outfitting experience. They do your whole meal program and they provide all your camp gear if you want. Like literally you can travel with pretty much just your clothes and a toothbrush and they'll have everything else that you need. This is fresh commercial uh, lean uh, bacon. It's been wrapped individually in a continuing roll of uh, vinegar and um, cheesecloth. So this will stay in your pack for the balance of the week. Now it's cold out, so it's gonna, things are gonna last in general, but how long would that technique keep things oh, fresh oh, for? Over a week. That's the ticket, eh? Vinegar wrapped cheesecloth. Yeah. Okay, well let's pack up and go. While Killarney Outfitters definitely makes doing a trip like this easy to plan for, in order to get through this adventure in one piece, I'm gonna be counting on one of my longtime friends. James Macbeth. So I've been canoe tripping since I was three years old. And over the last 50 plus years, I've learned a lot. But for many who don't have the 50 plus years of experience tripping like this, uh, it's always good to have an outfitter set you up. Their years and years of experience are gonna get you to the different parts in this park with the right equipment and the right amount of food. It begins 30 miles, a boat ride, to get to the pig, the first portage which starts the trip in Clarney Provincial Park. It's a bit of a breeze out there, it might be a, a bouncy ride out, but uh, here we go. Starting the trip in the harbour is really a luxury thanks to Clarney Outfitters shuttle service, because most commonly, canoe trips start on the south side of the park where you find the park's main entrance. We're using the boat shuttle to swing around to the much more remote west end of the park. Approaching the end of the boat ride and the start of our first portage, my spidey senses have started to tingle. Ted is one of those guys that's always happy to help, and so the fact that he's not offering to help carry gear has me a little concerned about what's in store for us. Well, we are committed now. Ted is gone. And we have the beginning of a five-day trip to get through Killarney Provincial Park. It starts with a bang. We got the pig. Apparently, it's the toughest of the portages that we're going to have to do, about 1.3 kilometers uphill. <laughs> Here we go. Captain Canoehead, let's do this. 
Well, it's a good thing that the leaves have already started to fall because I wouldn't see the colors of the leaves otherwise. Good Lord, this is no joke. The pig is a pretty appropriate way to start a Killarney Provincial Park canoe trip. Because if you're gonna go into Killarney any substantial way, you have to do some significant portages. And the pig, you could definitely call the pig significant. Hearing that it was called the pig, I figured it was a bit of a pig of a hike. It's not an expression you hear a lot, but the old timers use it a lot. And sure enough, it was a pig of a hike. It is comforting to know that this is recognized as the, the toughest portage. Because if you didn't know, it'd be a little bit depressing about what's to come. Canoe going down. We gotta be at least a tenth of the way there. <laughs> well, it still goes up here. I'm used to canoe trips that have portages that are trails. And so walking up the creek bed of the pig definitely made things more challenging. The real challenge was, especially with fall and leaves on the ground, is the different types of things that can make you go thump. Whoa, <laughs> you almost took me out with your paddle. <laughs> Just don't turn too fast, too close to me <laughs> with those paddles. <laughs> you, almost, <laughs> you almost gave me a black whoa, eye whack. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, what a difference the little break makes. Just gonna wait for him, he's a little slow. I'm supposed to be like 10 years older than him. It's kind of embarrassing, really. What you don't see under the canoe is he's actually carrying the bread. She's like, like, James gets to carry the meat. I need to take another break. Flat spot. It's not that I needed a break. I just was a little, you know, dry, a little parched, needed a drink. Not tired. Not a bit. This is so embarrassing. Oh! Wow! I hiked this earlier this summer to get to Topaz Lake, but different game. You had a pack and a canoe in the head. What we're using on this trip oh, yeah. are swift, super light canoes. But even still, portaging a canoe on this rocky terrain, it's still a little bit sketchy, even with a super light canoe on your shoulders. All right, round three. Taking the pack and the canoe up the pig probably wasn't the best decision. That was a lot of weight, and that was a steep portage. If I had to do it again, I'd do two trips. I think we might be at the top. <laughs> Reaching the top of the pig was like, ah. Now it's all downhill down to the lake from here, but going downhill with weight is sometimes harder than going up. One would think it's easier going downhill, but this whole running water over loose rock and not being able to, I can't see over my barrel. But the terrain is crazy here. So you're going, up on rounded rock. Then you start going over roots and mud on a plateau. Then you go downhill with wet moving rocks that are rounded and slippery. I feel like I could skip there. Probably a bad idea. That is a beautiful sight. What the heck? <laughs> hey James, check that out. Are you sure this is the right lake? <laughs> uh, no, I hope so though. I was not expecting to see cabins here. Oh yeah, baby. Probably should check the map. <laughs> Stranger things have definitely happened. Yeah, that looks right. It shows cottages. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. That's good news. That's good news. Sweet. All right. I got open water for a bit. That way. A lot of my adventures have been solo. Not so much being alone on the water or on the adventure itself, but being alone in my craft. The interesting challenge when you 
are right. canoeing is that you've got to be paired with the right person. I think it's one of those things where there's complementary skills. Okay. We both share the passion for the outdoors, both have the same goals. We like the mission, we like the hard work, and we like the fact that we establish our, our own roles within kind of the partnership that is tandem canoeing. A gazelle. And his roles was orienteering, my roles just to power us there, because, well, hello. Onward ho. Onward. Ken was asking me to shift over into my left cheek or my right cheek. They're really light boats, so any little thing can move them around. So that was a big part of our first few, you know, hundred meters of, of paddling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be. We should have taken singles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time James and I have been in a canoe together, possibly ever. We've always been in our own boats. <laughs> so we've got some things to work out. <laughs> Three Narrows Lake is a pretty significant lake. We have to cover about 11 kilometers to get to camp. The nice thing is, even though it's windy, not surprisingly, Three Narrows Lake has a lot of narrow spots. We should be able to hide from the wind most of the time here. I would say that this is one of the Three Narrows on Three Narrows Lake. It's definitely narrow. The narrows were basically corridored by beautiful high rock walls, lots of rolling hills, we had lots of spruce trees mixed in with maple and birch and oak and all the colors are changing. You know, there's a reason why the group of seven came up here all the time and painted. Everything looked like a painting. Look at that tree. Look what it's growing in right there. It's growing in nothing. Rock. Wish I actually had a painting talent. Mm. You probably say those words a lot, don't you? Just change the word painting <laughs> to almost every other word. You come around every corner and there's something new geographically. Like we've been in basically flat rolling lakes and then, you know, a couple of high escarpments, a couple of little fjords, and then you get white mountains. It's true. Pretty awesome place. So what do you think is around the next corner? Uh, moose. Moose. We need to see a moose. Although we haven't yet seen the moose, there is plenty of amazing scenery and wildlife to keep us preoccupied. And like every adventure you do for the first time, every corner is a moment of discovery. And for me, that's one of the most amazing things about backcountry adventures. What a day. That's a full day of portaging, paddling, but we made it to camp just in time. Sun's setting and it's a beautiful evening. We got a fire going, camp is set up. Now it's time to cook some big fat steaks for dinner. I think it's gonna be an early night. <laughs> <laughs>